What's up guys, I'm back at it with another video. So today, we're gonna do a Tundra, a bigger Tundra body install on the IS350. So this came off a 2017 uh, Tundra. It had 53,000 miles on it, but as you can see right here, it has a whole bunch of carbon buildup in the back and in the front. So I'm gonna clean it up with some throttle body cleaner. And uh, we also got the spacer right here. I'll link everything down in the description if you guys want it. And uh, shout out to my girlfriend. She actually bought me this for my birthday. So, yeah. All right. So, first thing you got to do, disconnect this. Unclip these right here. We're just going to take off the intake. And then just unscrew this bolt right there. And we'll just pop everything off. All right. So, just like that, everything comes off. Make sure to disconnect this. And then take off these four bolts. And then watch what happens next. All right, so after you take this off, you see the hoses right here. You'll see one right here, one back there. Just use pliers or whatever you can and pull them off from both sides. All right, and just like that, we got it off. The hoses are right here. It was actually easier than I thought. I ended up using this little pick thing, just like shoving it in there, working around it. And uh, now we're going to put the splicer in there. It's 3 8 by 3 8 on each side. Uh, that's what it looks like. The part number is right there. If you guys want to get it from Home Depot, that's where I got it from. All right, I struggled a little bit to get it on, but got it on. Should look like that. All right, guys. So this is the difference between the Lexus the throttle body or the IS350 throttle body and the Tundra one. As you can see, this one's smaller because it's 70 millimeter. This one's bigger because it's 76. So I'm gonna clean this up right now and let you guys know how it comes out. All right guys, so uh, it's the next day. I forgot to mention um, this right here on the Tundra one, you have to break this off because it's not gonna fit. I left this one on the other one because I didn't feel like breaking it off. But I ended up, uh, I was trying to cut it off with like these uh, scissors meant for cutting metal, but it was too much of a tight space. So I had to saw it off with the saw and it came off. It didn't come out the prettiest, but I made it work. But yeah, you have to take that out for sure. So don't forget that. It's gonna be straight on the Tundra one. You'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, I forgot to mention, there's a bracket right here. I got it up here. It's two bolts. These two, you just unbolt it and uh, should take it off. You need that. Um, you need to take it off in order to install the Tundra one. All right, guys, a couple hours later, or not hours, like 30 minutes. I used a filer, started filing this down. You have to file it down in order to get it to fit correctly. I'll show you guys what I mean. All right, so basically, the reason why you have to file it down, you see the fuel line right here? You're going to see it. It's this one right here. I have the intake on. This is the next day, my bad. But uh, I filed down all this right here, as you saw in the previous video so that the fuel line would fit right there. Because if you don't do that, if you try to put it in right here, this side's gonna be too low. Or if you try with this side, this side's gonna be too high and it's not gonna be able to go down here. So you have to file right there, like how I showed in the previous video, in order for it to fit right here and get it on like securely. Because if you don't do that, then it's not gonna work. Just so you guys know. All right guys, so after struggling for a while to get it on, I finally got it on. You have to, you see how the things failed right there? You have to like try to maneuver it to go down there. Once you get it on, tighten everything down. I'm gonna connect everything back up. Hopefully the car runs good, we'll see. All right guys, so the hardest part of this install is trying to get this stupid coupler onto this. Shout out to my girlfriend, she helped me. So I'm thankful for that. And uh, when you file down the throttle body, be careful with it. But th those two are the only things that are hard. But other than that, it's easy.